Mesa and Elon Musk have finally revealed a new lightspeed engine that defies physics. Space exploration and travel are fascinating subjects in the study of space. In this video, we will explain the lightspeed engine, the physics of the lightspeed engine, and how Musk and Mesa work on the project Speedlight, which defies physics. So, let's get into it. Elon Musk and NASA announced their new rocket called the Lightspeed Engine, which defies physics and could get us to Mars in weeks instead of months. They are now testing it on their new spacecraft, the Interplanetary Transport System. Elon Musk and NASA are on a mission to design an in-house, disruptive engine that will reduce launch costs $5 million. NASA calls it a breakthrough, and Elon Musk calls it awesome because a small team of engineers at NASA has just tested what's being called a new type of rocket engine that can operate far more efficiently than anything currently on Earth. And if you're wondering, how does something like this come up? Well, what if I told you there are plans to make it even better? Much better. NASA has just successfully tested a new engine that promises to make space travel cheaper and faster. Currently, most commercial and military rockets use chemical fuel that must be pre-made on Earth and then load it into rocket boosters before launch. Not only is it expensive and extremely complicated, but it also limits how much weight can be lifted off the ground. A new experimental engine runs on an alternative form of fuel, electricity, the kind you plug into your wall socket. This may seem crazy at first, but when you consider that 95% of everything you do involves electricity at some point, from running your vacuum cleaner to turning on the light until the flip of a switch, it doesn't seem so far-fetched anymore. In September, Musk and a team of NASA scientists announced their design for a revolutionary rocket they call the Raptor. It can withstand more than 500,000 pounds of thrust and run on liquid methane instead of conventional kerosene, producing 30% less carbon dioxide emissions. Regarding space, man wants to go anywhere and see everything. Big problem. This, well, is that place. It's big. Even at the fast speeds the universe can travel, it will take us many years to reach our nearest stellar neighbor. But another humanitarian campaign is looking for solutions to bigger problems. That's what NASA engineer David Burns does in his spare time. He developed a concept for an engine that could theoretically accelerate it to 99% of the speed of light. He published it on NASA's technical report server under the title This Helical Engine, and on paper, it works by taking advantage of the way mass varies proportionally with velocity. Near the speed of light in space, no peer review has been done yet. Not surprisingly, the paper generated excitement in the early days of EM drives. And yes, some headlines claim that the engine can even defy the laws of physics. As a thought experiment to illustrate his concept, Barnes describes a box with a weight attached to a string with springs at each end that swing the weight back and forth. In space, such as space, this will have the effect of moving the entire box, animating the weight, like a GIF hovering around the weight. Normally, the box will continue to move in the same position. But if the weight mass is moving in only one direction, it will create a large repulsion in that direction, hence the repulsion. According to the Law of Conservation of Momentum, which states that the speed of a system remains constant in the absence of any external force, this is not entirely possible. But lack of a special theory of relativity celebrates special relationships. According to special relativity, objects increase in mass as they approach the speed of light. So if you replace the weight with ions and the box with a loop, you can theoretically make the ions go faster at one end of the ring and slower at the other. But Burns drive is not a closed loop. It has a form of torsion like a spring under tension hence the torque motor. The motor accelerates the ions in a loop to a moderate relative velocity, then changes their speed to produce small changes in their mass. The motor then moves the ions back and forth in the direction of travel. To emphasize, he wrote in his post, abstract and motor has no moving parts except ions moving in a vacuum trapped in electric and magnetic fields. But this is not without creating significant practical problems. According to new scientists, the torsion chamber should be quite large, about 200 meters that means 656 feet long and 12 meters that means 40 feet in diameter, to be exact. And you must generate 165 megawatts of energy to produce one newton of thrust. 
This is equivalent to a power plant, producing the force required to accelerate squared one kilogram of mass per second. So a lot of input for a small output. It is not efficient, but in the vacuum of space, it can work. Burns told New Scientist, if you have enough time and enough power, the engine can go up to 99% of the speed of light. What would happen if you traveled at the speed of light? A person traveling at the speed of light would experience a time lapse. For this person, time will slow down compared to a person who is not moving. In addition, their field of vision will change a lot. The world will appear through a tunnel-shaped window in front of the plane they are traveling. Speed is a thrill for humans. There is no denying it. This has been the case since the wheel was invented, and the strength of our legs did not determine speed. The faster one goes, the more exhilarating one feels, although the pace can be truly terrifying for some. In today's modern age, we have developed some sharp objects. We have incredibly fast planes, super-fast fighter jets, bullet trains, etc. Yet, there is one thing in the universe that is faster than anything we can imagine – light. Some say it is impossible to travel at the speed of light, and humans cannot survive traveling at the speed of light. If something travels at the speed of light, its mass will increase exponentially. Consider that the speed of light is 300,000 kilometers per second or 186,000 miles per second. And when an object moves beyond that speed, its mass will become infinite. Therefore, moving the object would require infinite energy, which is impractical. Therefore, nothing can move faster than the speed of light. But in the future, it will be possible for humans to travel at the speed of light. Five years ago, NASA researchers experimented with the electromagnetic drive of a shaped metal chamber. They said it could generate thrust without propellant. Such a gadget would defy the fundamental principles of physics as we know them and remove a major obstacle to deep space travel by eliminating the need to carry fuel. Ultimately, the hope aboard the electromagnetic drive was to send propellantless thrusters to distant objects, such as the outer solar system, and even nearby extrasolar systems, such as Alpha Centauri, in a human-manageable time frame. The explanation for how the drive might work is beyond what is known about physics. Perhaps it interacts with the vacuum energy of space quantum time, although space quantum time does not allow anything to overcome it. Perhaps our sense of forwarding motion is destroyed. Maybe it's brand new physics, as electromagnetic drive tests have revealed that there is no official design for the device and none of the people who claim to have invented it. Ultimately, these all look like rumors because the speed light engine and the concept violate the basic laws of physics, and it seems inappropriate for a human being to travel at the speed of light. What do you think? Can we travel at the speed of light? Leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. Goodbye and take care.